So, we have discussed about how the different operations related to fuzzy elements can be carried out. Now, we are in a position to discuss about designing a complete fuzzy system. Now, the fuzzy system that we are going to discuss is uh, very popular in fuzzy, uh, fuzzy uh, application fuzzy world and this is called the fuzzy logic controller. So, actually we are going to discuss about how a fuzzy logic controller can be can be designed and uh, so, so far the fuzzy logic controller design is concerned there are broadly two approaches are known the first approach is called Mamdani approach and the second approach is called Takage Sugano approach. So, we will discuss about the two approaches in the first we will learn about Mamdani approach and then in the next lecture we will discuss about Takage Sugano approach. Now, first we have to understand about that what are the different applications of the fuzzy logic. So, there are many applications of the fuzzy logic uh, few applications that I have mentioned here one example is called the fuzzy reasoning another is called the fuzzy clustering fuzzy programming uh, and so many. Now, out of this application fuzzy reasoning this is also alternatively called as fuzzy logic controller is a widely used one application. Now, fuzzy logic controller are the are the a type of expert system is a special expert system we can say in general it employs a knowledge based or we can say fuzzy rule based and this fuzzy rule based is in expressed in terms of a set of fuzzy inference rules and uh, the fuzzy in inference rule is used by one engine it is called the fuzzy inference engine to solve any problem. So, so far the fuzzy logic controller is concerned or designing a fuzzy logic controller is concerned the most important task that we have to carried out is that how a fuzzy rule based system can be developed and then how the fuzzy inference engine can be built on that fuzzy inference rule or fuzzy rule base. So, we will discuss about these two things first we will discuss about uh, okay, fine. So, obviously, there are few problems where exact mathematical formulation of the problem is not available or is very difficult because of the many uncertainties are there. So, uncertainty may be due to non-linearities in the input that mean uh, the, the input does not vary with linear relation or it is a time varying or different time it varies the values or it has lot of noises due to the environmental disturbances. So, the value is really unpredictable at a time. So, if these are the situations having the input then we should follow the fuzzy system to develop and to solve this kind of problem. So, fuzzy logic controller is one example here and we will see exactly how such a fuzzy logic controller can be developed. Anyway, so far the fuzzy logic controller is concerned uh, this diagram basically show uh, the overview of a fuzzy controller system and if we see it carefully. So, the fuzzy controller uh, this is the portion of the fuzzy controller right and this is basically an external interface with the outer world. So, the these are the basically fuzzy world and this is basically the crips world we will come into this portion later on. Now, in this fuzzy system you can see there are four basic tasks involved. So, the first is fuzzy rule base, second is fuzzy inference engine and third is fuzzy fication module and finally, fourth is defuzzification module. So, these are the task if we can plan it then a fuzzy system can be developed. Once this fuzzy system is developed any input that is basically Crips input can be given to some controller that means, the controller means it is basically the controller which will control with the aid of fuzzy controller actually and it will take any input and this input will go to the fuzzy system as a conditions it will process it and then it will give an output which basically is a crips output after defuzzification and this will be as an action. So, process will get output then this is the output that is has to be followed. So, this is the basic idea about the fuzzy logic controller 
and we understood that there are mainly four different what is called the uh, parts here. Uh, the parts are fuzzy rule base and then fuzzy inference engine, the fuzzification module and defuzzification module. So, for the fuzzy logic controller or a fuzzy system design is concerned, we have to just design these four components, then system will be built up. Now, uh, I will just a uh, little bit uh, brief uh, uh, detail about the different uh, processes involved. So, for the fuzzy logic controller is concerned, it is basically a cyclic process, it will take an input, it will decide what exactly the control to be decided, produce an output, take another input and output. So, it is a cyclic method. Now, we can consider I want say AC, AC to be control, if we change the temperature, if we change the humidity, these are the input suppose and then fuzzy logic knows exactly with the different temperature and different humidity what the output so far the motor rotation is concerned. It will produce an output, go to the motor rotator and then output will take this value and rotate accordingly. So, this way AC can be controlled, air condition can be controlled like. So, this is an example. Now, here the different steps that is involved, uh, there are mainly four steps. In case of the first steps, we have to take the input that is basically called the measurements. It is basically for a system there may be one or more input. So, definitely we should consider all inputs taken together and that can be considered as the condition to the controller process. And then this measurement which is basically an input to the system is a Cripps uh, uh, value. So, this needs to be fuzzified. So, this uh, second step is called the fuzzification and then the one the major input is taken and it is fuzzified. The second uh, the, th the third step is basically uh, all these fuzzified inputs uh, are to be used and then pump to the inference engine. The inference engine will basically evaluate what are the control rules to be followed that is basically there in the fuzzy rule base. The result of this evaluation basically allow, uh, uh, provides us a fuzzy set or may be a several fuzzy sets and then output of fuzzy set or fuzzy sets can be considered and then then taken as the output of the overall system. The output that we have obtained it is basically in terms of fuzzy set or fuzzy sets, then we can convert the corresponding fuzzy set or fuzzy sets into a Cripps value or set of vector of Cripps values and this is called the defuzzification. So, these are the four uh, steps that is involved in case of fuzzy logic controller. Now, let us come to the approaches, there are two approaches I told you one is called the Mamdani approach and another is uh, Takage Sukanu approach. Mamdani approach basically the simplest and more popular approach. It is simplest because it is highly interpretable that means, if we see the system we can or any layman also can interpret okay, this is the concept of the system. However, it provides a little bit lesser accuracy compared to the Takage Sukanu approach and this model the Mamdani approach uh, basically follow the linguistic fuzzy module that means, all the fuzzy sets should be available to us some in, in terms of some linguistic states. On the other hand, the Takago and Suganu approach it follows precise fuzzy modeling, it is uh, more numerical than the linguistic fuzzy modeling that is used in Mamdani approach. It in fact, compared to the Mamdani approach provides better result. However, it is low interpretable as it is mathematically little bit expressed. So, interpretation is bit difficult for the general user. Anyway, we will discuss first uh, uh, we will discuss first Mamdani approach and then the Sukaguni approach with some case studies. So, that we can understand the concept it is there. Now, we will discuss the first Mamdani approach and to discuss the Mamdani approach we will consider an example. Uh, it is basically movement of robot, we can say it is a mobile robot. So, the problem here is a robot uh, has to move in presence of a several objects uh, that is available there. So, robot has to move in such a way that it should avoid the collision and all the objects are not necessarily static objects, they are also moving. So, it is a basically problem at any instant mathematically we do not know which path needs to be followed. So, path can be followed with lot of uncertainty or lot of variation in the non-linearity of inputs or time variable input. 
and so this is a critical problem and this problem really very difficult to solve a simple uh, programming approach. So, we will see how such a uh, such an application can be uh, can be developed using some fuzzy uh, fuzzy theory fuzzy logic. Now, a typical scenario of the mobile robot uh, I want to give it first and we we have to discuss with certain assumption assumption is that the robot has to move in presence of four moving objects and we also assume that each objects are of equal size and all objects those are there moving with the same speed. However, this is a simple assumption so that we can discuss it uh, and then learn it, but uh, this assumption not necessarily to be followed in actual uh, mov movement of the mobile, uh, mobile uh, robot consideration. So, anyway, so that is the extension of this. Now, so this is the one simple uh, display of the uh, scenario of a particular instant and here assume that this is the robot has to move okay. and there are four different objects O 1, O 2, O 3 and O 4 in the vicinity of the robots at any moment robot is moving here in this direction and the different objects moving uh, like O 1 is moving along this direction, O t is moving along this direction. O 3 is moving along this direction, O 4 is moving this time. Now, at any instant the robot has to take a decision if all these movements are there then which path he should follow, he should follow the same path or he will follow this path or in this path. So, it basically decides that as a next uh, direction of the robot at any instant when he sees the different situation of the objects. So, input to the robot can be obtained by some means about the different movement of the objects by some camera or whatever it is that is available this one and then it can calibrate and then different objects and his movement can be obtained. So, this is the case and then our task is basically to design a fuzzy controller for the robot. So, that robot can use this fuzzy controller to take its uh, movement direction uh, at the presence of the different objects around it. So, this is the application. So, this is the application. Now, so if we consider, if we carefully observe this system, we can consider that how the input to the system can be specified and then what is the output is there. Now, here as an input to the robot, we can consider two parameters. One is d the distance from the robot to an object and theta the angle of motion of an object with respect to the robot. So, these are the two input that can be used to the fuzzy logic controller for the robot to decide it. And so, for the output is concerned we can decide one output it is basically called the deviation that means, from the from its own line how much deviation can be there. Now, here we will consider the first input d uh, as this one here this means basically uh, this basically signifies the total area of the movement of the robots that means, it will start from the location 0 0.1 and and 2.2 uh, horizontal wise and vertical wise. So, it is like this. So, this is the 0 0.1 and this is the 2.2. So, this is the area along this one uh, this is the sides of this one and this one. So, this is the total area. Uh, so, it is 0 0.1 uh, so 0 0.1 and this is uh, 2.2. So, this is the area total by which the robot movement will be restricted. So, considering this is the d that means, range of values of the d that can be available like this and then the theta the rotation that that means, the angular direction of the different objects we consider in the range minus 90 uh, to 90. So, if this is the robot and then uh, so, with respect to this robot the object that can be moved here right. So, if this is the movement and then so, according to this uh, with the angle of this one. So, this can be if it is uh, anti clockwise then it is basically 0 to 90 degree and if it is clockwise then it is minus 90 to uh, 0. So, this is the range basically that the robot has to take uh, a measure about an object with respect to this one. So, these are the two inputs and then output also similarly for this deviation will be minus 90 to 90 that means, towards left or towards right according to that. Now, the fuzzy sets that is required to describe this kind of behavior 
and we will express uh, according to the Mamdani approach it basically decides the linguistic states for each input here d theta and then output this one in terms of fuzzy sets. So, we will discuss what are the different linguistic states for this particular uh, example can be uh, obtained. So, the linguistic state that can be obtained for this fuzzy set is uh, given here. Okay. So, anyway we will discuss about uh, first is uh, the okay. So, these are the fuzzy controller system as we have already mentioned here first we have to decide about fuzzy rule base. Now, in order to decide the fuzzy rule base we have to fix on the fuzzy linguistic states according to the Mamdani approach. So, first let us discuss about how the fuzzy rule base can be discussed and then we will discuss about fuzzy uh, inference engine. So, for the fuzzy rule base is concerned as I told you we have to first discuss the different input that we have to consider and then output how they can be expressed in terms of fuzzy sets. So, for this exam for this uh, robot mobile robot we consider uh, for the distance d has the three uh, the four different uh, states that means, uh, linguistic states they are basically de defining the distance as a fuzzy sets. We discuss the two uh, four one is very near denoted as v n and then near denoted as n r very far v f f r far that means, distance can be fuzzily described as very near near very far and far in terms of the four different uh, fuzzy linguistics. Now, similarly the angle that is the direction of the robots with respect uh, direction of an object with respect to the robot or the deviation of the robot can be described again in terms of five different linguistic states that we have discussed about uh, here the five linguistic states are left ahead left a l ahead and ahead right a r and then right. Now, so it is basically the prerogative of the fuzzy engineer who can disguise the about the particular uh, input and then they can decide the fuzzified states. So, we have discussed for four different fuzzy states for the distance and five different fuzzy sets for the angle. So, we can discuss alternatively three different fuzzy sets for distance also and then four different fuzzy sets for the angle or three different fuzzy sets angle or more than five different fuzzy sets also. So, it depends on the uh, fuzzy engineer how he can plan it, how he can design it. So, it is totally the depends on the expertise of the fuzzy engineer to decide the fuzzy linguistic states and whatever the fuzzy states you decide it will work uh, for you whether accurately or less accurately that is the depends on the design actually. Now, so these are the I mean two, uh, two different inputs the d and theta the fuzzy states can be defined. Similarly, for the delta also as it is an angle. So, the same uh, fuzzy linguistic can be considered. So, for the theta the angular direction and for the deviation delta the same fuzzy linguistic can be considered here. Now, after having this one we will see exactly the rule base. Now, we will consider uh, we will be able to discuss about the rule base. Now, before going to this for each fuzzy set they should be defined by their corresponding membership function. Now, we will discuss about the membership function we know that the fuzzy membership function can be of uh, either triangular shape or trapezoidal shape or some bell shape or like this one. So, in this example we consider the different fuzzy membership function for the different fuzzy sets namely say um, distance related fuzzy sets fuzzy linguistic like very near near far very far using some triangular uh, membership function for very near the membership function is like this. Similarly, for the near the membership function is like this and then for far the membership function is like this and for uh, very far the membership function is like this. So, we can easily understand that whether the near object is like this. So, membership function will vary like this one. So, this has certain meaning with respect to in our fuzzy uncertainty and then the corresponding the fuzzy elements there. Now, likewise the membership function for the angle theta and then deviation also can be described. So, as we told you that the value ranges from minus 9 to 90. So, it is basically the range of values that is for the membership function should be 
and then for the different fuzzy linguistic like left it is defined here then ahead left it is ahead ahead right and then right this one. So, this way the fuzzy linguistic and their corresponding membership function is well defined and this is the same thing uh, this is defined for the deviation delta and we can note that for theta and delta they are, they are, their membership functions are same. So, it is quite possible and because angle and then this uh, then deviation they have the similar uh, of magnitude and then similar of interpretation. Now, having this fuzzy linguistics and then fuzzy membership functions we are in a position to decide about uh, the rule base. This rule base can be for simplicity we can define this rule base in terms of a rule matrix and here basically the rule base signifies few things that for any particular value of that belongs to the distance and for any particular value of theta how the rule needs to be decided. For example, here one idea is that uh, so the rule base it is like this as we know rule is taking this form if x is d d y is theta then then z is delta it is like this this is a rule like this that means if the distance belongs to this one in a fuzzy linguistic and then that uh, rotation uh, angular direction y is uh, in terms of fuzzy linguistic then what will be the output in terms of fuzzy linguistic delta. So, these are the fuzzy linguistic as we have already studied and these are the different input at any moment and then so for this different input how the output z can be obtained. So, this is basically objective and such a things can be expressed using some uh, rule matrix. So, this is the rule matrix that is there and in this rule matrix all the fuzzy linguistic state related to the distance and then corresponding linguistic state related to the angular direction is uh, row and then column y specified. So, here if x is v n and then y is a a it says that see x is v n and y is a a that means the angular is a l then rule is that direction delta is a l that means deviation will be a l. So, it is like this for example, uh, if this is the one another output that means if it is f r and this is the angle direction so that direction will be a r. So, it this, this basically says that different rules that can be fireable they, that can be related to the fuzzy movement and this is expressed in terms of rule base. And here so far the four linguistic states are there which belongs to the distance input and then five linguistics are there so far the input angular direction. So, altogether so the total number of rules that is here feasible these are equal 4 into 5 means 20 rules. So, in this fuzzy system and this basically gives the rule base this is the rule base which is shown in the form of a matrix and we can the shown the same rule base in the form of a fuzzy proposition that we have already discussed there that means if x is d y is theta then z is this one these are the rule form look like. Anyway, so we will discuss about this is the rule base and we will see exactly how such a rule base can be used and then corresponding inference engine can be developed that is our next target. Now, so far the fuzzy rule base for the mobile robot is concerned I have told you. So, altogether there are 20 rules and rule 1 is like this. So, if distance is v n and then angle is l t then derivation is a similarly the other rules are there. So, all rules can be expressed this one and you know such a rules can also be expressed in terms of a rule ma what is called the uh, matrix uh, relation matrix uh, sort of thing we have already learned that how such a rule can be stored in the form of matrix and all these matrix. So, then we can take all the rules and then corresponding all matrices and then we can infer something from there that is the rule inference the whatever the idea we have discussed earlier they can be applied here. Now, in case of Mamdani approach they follow a little bit different idea rather more simplified and then uh, sophisticated idea that is considered here. Now, see here uh, the rule that is ok. So, we have learned about the fuzzy rule base just now we learn about fuzzy uh, we have learned about fuzzy fuzzy rule base we have learned about it and then we are uh, we are in the process of learning the fuzzy inference engine and 
before going to the fuzzy inference engine basically we have to learn about fuzzification module. So, our next task is basically what will be the fuzzification module uh, is there. Now, fuzzification module basically takes some input and then this input is to go to the fuzzification module take the fuzzified value and this fuzzified value will be used by the fuzzy rule pen engine. So, we will not be able to discuss the fuzzy inference engine until we discuss the fuzzification module and so we will discuss about the fuzzification module uh, first. Uh, so, for the fuzzification of input is concerned uh, we have to consider a specific instance for a particular values of the input we will consider that at any instant uh, d that is the distance of the uh, distance of an object from the robot is basically 1.04 meter and obviously, it will be in the range 0 0.1 to 2.2 that we have already specified there and and at that instant also we assume that the angular direction uh, theta equals to 30 degree. So, this is a specific instance and at the specific instance we will see exactly how the these are the crisp value, crisp value of the input can be fuzzified in terms of whatever the fuzzy linguistic state that we have discussed there and then corresponding the fuzzy output and then finally, we will calculate the deviation delta of the robots. So, so typically uh, it is basically idea it is like this. So, a particular example that I have already told you. So, it is basically d this is the d and in this case 1.04 and this is the theta at any moment this is 30 degree. Now, here so this is the input that is available to the uh, fuzzy logic controller of the robots and uh, taking this input the controller will dictate the robots that in which direction either with certain delta here or in this direction delta here that we have to decide. So, this is the likely value that what should be the value. So, so fuzzy logic controller will take this input this d and then theta and then calculate delta and then it autom automatically the the machine that is or tools that is there in the robot it will take this value and then uh, direct the movement according to this direction or that one. So, this is the idea about it. So, our next task is basically how to how to calculate the fuzzy input uh, for a given Crips input and uh, so, so it is here. Now, the typically uh, so far the con is concerned here we, we know that these are the linguistic uh, variables linguistic fuzzy linguistic for the distance and d at the moment is 1.04. So, that means, this is the Crips and then corresponding creeps the fuzzy output is it fireable to n r that means, so far the near is concerned it is it is that this value with that this is the membership function. Again for the same uh, this is the also fireable to the fuzzy linguistic far that means, d being the distance 1.04 it is the belongs to the near fuzzy set as with this membership value and it also belongs to the f r fuzzy set with this membership value. So, these are the fuzzy input actually you will calculate it and then we will use it. Likewise, for theta equals to 30 degree. So, these are the so both ahead and a r ahead right are applicable to this. So, for the fuzzy uh, input is concerned. So, if this is the theta equals to 30 degree then corresponding theta the fuzzy input will be a and a r. Now, in the next uh, uh, next discussion we will discuss about uh, how uh, the how in the next uh, we will discuss about how such a uh, the procedure general procedure for obtaining uh, for a creeps input the fuzzy output uh, fuzzy uh, input. So, in this particular context of example as we have learned it. So, d 1.04 uh, if it is the fuzzy in, uh, creeps input then it has the fuzzy output near and f r but near with certain membership value and fr with certain membership value. We will be able to easily calculate and we will see the calculation in the next lecture how the near fuzzy sets and fr fuzzy sets for this input can be obtained that is basically called the fuzzy input or fuzzification for the input. And likewise for theta 30 degree which uh, graphically uh, appear as ahead and ahead right both are feasible and then what is the corresponding membership value therefore, the fuzzy sets that for this input can be obtained. So, all these things will be discussed um, ok. So, that will be discussed in our uh, 
uh, next uh, uh, lecture and then so so uh, till time we have discussed about the fuzzy rule base fuzzy rule base design and then we will discuss about the fuzzy fiction module once we learn it then we will go to the fuzzy inference engine which will be covered in our next uh, in the next lecture thank you